That nose cutting it a bit fine, isn't it? But actually, I think he's definitely late. <laughs> oh, look at that smoke. It's a beautiful plume. Isn't that a beautiful plume, Tim? Like a kiss curl. Such a woody, oaky smell. It really reminds me of... An house fire. Oh, camping in the woods when I was a kid. Oh, stop trying to be so posh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? There's not a law against me standing in my own garden, is there? It's not like I'm naked. Oh, thank goodness for small mercies. You're not coming over, Jeff, if that's what you're angling for. Maybe I've already been over. Hey, Played a few pranks. The water in the hot tub looking a bit yellow. Frothing up a bit, is it? What? I've always enjoyed the call of nature in the great outdoors. Make sure you flush. Oh, he's lying. Taking a notice of him. I love this garden furniture, Sal. Where's it from? From a petrol station, wasn't it? No, it's not actually fair. I got it online. It's the same garden furniture that Kirsty Allsop has. It's an actual direct imitation. So it's fake furniture? You stop showing off in front of Debbie. Didn't she used to craft things from rubbish round her house? Christmas. She called me Mr. Bombastic, say me fantastic. Touch me on the back, she says I'm Mr. Roo. Roo. Romantic. Shaggy! You don't listen to that, you're just trying to be annoying. I have very Catholic tastes, thank you. I am, after all, a professional DJ. Please respect that. Professional. I work in hospital radio. My maze will let you in. I'm surprised you don't bore half of intensive care to death. Oh, I'm going inside. Oh, I can see your Ryle, Tim. He's an idiot. And he's ruining your daughter's big day. You can see she's nervous. Are you going to let him get away with that? I mean, I'm not condoning violence, but oh, if someone did that to my daughter, I'd batter him. You're going to turn it down or what? Draw. Do you speak to Jeff? Never mind him. How's Alfie? Well, she seems to have locked herself in the loo. I hope Nora hasn't stood her up. Oh, he'll be here. Well, he better be. Well, I think she's embarrassed. Has she text him her out? Well, she says she don't want to talk about it. Well, if he turns up now, he'll get a piece of my mind. I'll tell you what, if he turns up, it won't be Nora, it'll be Jesus, cos mark my words, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> well, call me a glass half full kind of girl, but I reckon he'll be here any minute. Well, with all due respect, Debbie, I think you're talking at your backside. I've got quite a big skill set, Tim, but that's not one of them. So, come on, what did Jeff say? Oh, forget about him. I think I smooth things over. I doubt we'll be hearing from him again this afternoon, anyway. What's that? things over, Debbie. Hey? Just leave her out of it. You've lost the plot. That chimney was brand new, and as for the furniture... Put that spade down. What? Put it down before I wrap it round your head. We were trying to do something nice for our fay, but you seem to have better ideas. You're going to ruin everything. Good. Now go get out of our garden and get out of our lives. You hurt me so much. Yeah, and you denied me a mother, so it swings and roundabouts, innit? I just wish Yasmin had finished the job while she had the chance. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, is that so? I'll tell you what, Tim. Here's your chance. Do it. Finish what she started. Go on. Come on, what are you waiting for? Just do it. <laughs> 